Don't forget that in this video, this shed will be at some point in the video. The first person who sees it and comments the correct time code on the comment section of this video, I will pin the comment at the top and that person will have the choice between this shed or whatever hat they want. Also, for anybody who's going to be at the Iowa Deer Classic this coming weekend, we will be there as well. We will be at the Nichols Equipment booth. Make sure to stop by and say hi if you're there. So, good luck. All right, I'm not going home empty handed, which is awesome because I was on my way back to the truck with zero sheds. I just came walking up around this bank here and I can see a little one right there. The little ones are always the funnest ones to find in my opinion. I don't know why in hell he was gonna be in the middle of all this stuff. But, wow, look at this pedicle. Oh my, that is crazy. Huh, that's the first time I've seen something like that. Either way, it's a cool little find. We're not going home empty handed, so. Man, these thorns have been gnarly today. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, first one we go. That's a good one, yeah. Yeah. Not bad on the surf today. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. That's a good one. What a beast. Wow. That is a good way to start off the day. Yeah. Shines up in the snow, huh? We are off to about as hot, hot of a start as you can have here on Friday, February 18th. You saw the big one that we found. We were actually on our way into the good spot here. We wanted to hit the cedar thicket first and then work our way back because it makes sense with where the sun's coming up in the east. Well, we found one good one. We don't own any cameras here. Don't have much intel on these deer. We just have permission to shed hunt it. And not only did we find that one, but we just found another right side. Oh yeah, that is a stud. Oh yeah. That is a stud. I don't get much better than that, bud. Oh yeah. You know, there's... Know. So we are off to a great start. That's two down and only an hour. Wow, we need to keep it up. I honestly think I might have a shed off of this deer really? from last year. There was a high and tight, it was, a, it was an eight point last year. I think that might be him this year. He remembered all this stuff. Just, it really rings a bell. Short broad tine, tall tine, thick mean beam. And his shed was seriously probably 100 yards from here. And his other side was, you know, 50 yards from here. So we'll keep moving. Good start. like right here and I saw something in the back of my like corner of my eye. I just saw like kind of like a thorn and, and then I turned around and shed this lane. Very cool. Sunday, uh, February 20th. 
going out on a farm that I think will have the most sheds that we'll find this year. We've already found like seven off this farm, just doing field edges. Got a lot of food here this year. Actually, we're about to drive by a feeder right now that we've been stocking up with corn. So there should be a lot of deer around. Um, at least that's what we've seen and that's what trail cameras have shown. So. We are seeing that other deer are holding, but based on trail cameras on this farm, because I run a lot here, I don't think that many big ones, all the respectable bucks, I believe have dropped because really all I'm getting pictures of at this point are littler ones. So we'll see what happens. It'll be fun. Hopefully we can get some of the family members to find some sheds. I was kind of walking one of the thorny, nasty, north facing slopes, letting them hit the good stuff. And she just called up and said that she thinks she might've found one of the nice young bucks. So we're gonna go over and see what she's got. Good job on the first one today. Fred, you can pick it up. I didn't take my time and look Here you go. I mean, I'm not hurrying. No. Yeah. No, I don't No, worry. I know. Yeah, you didn't, no need to rush, you know. See the blood. Fine. Wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe. Huh, yeah, it does look pretty fresh, but he hasn't been on camera for a while. I mean. Which is it? But his, his wax ring is starting to wear, wear away. It's a younger eight point tall brows. There you go. Good job. All right. First one of the day. This is one of the best spots I think a deer could have to bed. When you look at it, they've got these mature cedars right behind them. That way's north, that way's south. So it's a south facing slope. You see how the sun comes in, it's right here. They have those north cedars to block the wind that comes out of the north in the hard winters. And then they can pick up the scent from anything that's behind them. They don't necessarily need to see it. They can just smell it. And then to the south, they got open timber they got sun hitting them so they're warm and then they got the open timber so they can see anything that's in front of them so basically they get 360 degree of coverage this is a really really good spot well we're walking a really good bedding area right now kind of surprised we haven't found one yet because we typically always find one in this bedding area every year if not extremely close we just called over she's got the second one today i guess she's on a hot streak because she's got two already Is it a big one? Kind of. Up. Not yet. Kind of weird. It has like three things. Oh, I think I might know what it is without even seeing it. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, Good. nice find. Good find. I mean, we had pictures of this. Last time we had pictures of this buck that I know of. Wow, he looks really fresh. We've had a couple encounters with this buck, but last time we had pictures of him was January 29th, my birthday. He's not far from where we had pictures of him. That's a nice, nice, nice deer. That really fresh. Of. It looks like last night. <laughs> that wouldn't go that far. The wax ring's wearing off. It just might have been a lot of blood on the pedicle, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's a good one. He's going to be a hog in a few years. Good job, Emmy. Look at that. Cool. Told you I'm like so hungry. We'll let you name that deer because we haven't came up with a name for him yet. Mm -hmm. I'll have to think. Yeah. Not much for brow tines, but a lot of potential. Rechecking the bedding area. And Emmy called up, said that uh, Grandma found one. So let's go see what she's got. She's not far from us right here. Can you find it? Let's see if you see it. You find it. Um. It's hard. Wow, I can't. <laughs> I'll try to buy it. Yeah, wow. There it is. Wow. Good job. <laughs> wow. Monster. Easy. That is a tough one. You know, the funny part is we always find sheds around this area. And I was like thinking, wow. That's there you go, Grandma. One. It is. Look, that's a pretty one. Look it at you. Yeah, that is Grandma's a Grandma's on one. the board before me. <laughs> so I need to start taking Grandma with me everywhere. Whew, good job, Grandma. Thanks. Did you tell Dad? Uh-uh. Hey, Grandma just came across another one. Mm -hmm. Woohoo. Look that. Wow, that's a good one. Wow. It actually, I looked at it. That's not splits. That's the other side of the, that's the other side of the one that you found. No way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's the other side of the other one. What a nice deer. 
So that would be about, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, about 100 yards, not too far. Well, good job, Grandma. Yeah, you did. I did, I did. That's definitely the other side of that one. Yeah, it is. Good job. Thank you. Look at that, number two on the day for Grandma. Well, just came up on one right here. Bam! Look at that. And a nice steel edge. Procedures for bedding. Dad actually found the other side of this deer earlier in the year. And it wasn't too far from here. But the, the thing that's interesting is I have pictures of him walking around with just this side after he dropped the side the dad found. So he's been here twice since then. Did you buy that? Yeah. Hey, do you mind clothes? Hey! Well, I just found that one, went and got my sweatshirt, put it on, brought the UTV around to catch up with everybody else, and looks like some, we, we, we walked by one. Bam! There we go, another one today. That might be, that might be a match off of the other one from earlier today. This right here. Yep, it's gotta be a match. Very cool, very cool. So that puts us at one, two, three, four, five, sixth on the day so far. That's uh, Chubby's other side. It's gotta be. <laughs> Look how this. Mm, no, 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 that's the other side of the one we found earlier. Like that. That's the other side of the one we found earlier. The first one we found today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he broke his brow time. Yep. That's the other He's side. A fighter. Hmm. Chewed like that because it's in the open timber. Squirrels are nasty. Chubby's was right up there. Okay. So there should be sheds around. Very cool. Good find. Another one to count. There you go. Another one down for today. Yeah, he's got some girth to his main beam for a little guy. Dropped some of the crew off now, it's just my dad and I. Came back out where we left off because we still got a lot yet to look. And I was coming down looking through these beds. Nice nice spot for deer to bed. There's this nice path where they transition down. And that one stands out as clear as day. So, not long after we just got refueled with uh, some food, we come away with another shed for the day. That's a good one. It's not obvious what he's doing. He's walking this path, transitioning from the open timber through the stick grass out to his food source so another one down for today i think that's i think that's number 10 on the day which is awesome it's february 20th and we've really only been looking for what is four hours now got a lot left to look so we'll see it's only been 30 minutes since we just got done eating lunch and we've already got two Here's the second one. Great spot. You can see Dad down there. This is where, where we transition from a field to open timber, but there's this nice transition area where we've had some, <clears throat> where there's a lot of nice undergrowth and deer like the bed in it. And I come across this awesome shed. Tines up. That's a great shed. Probably off an old deer. Can't say I really recognize this deer, but just how heavy it is, I don't know. I'm thinking an old deer. That's a good one. We're going to keep at it though. That's number 11 on the day. One of the dumbest things you can do when you're shed hunting is wear a pair of pants that has a hole in the knee without wearing anything underneath it. Because that's what your knee will continue to look like all day. All day, every day that you wear those suckers. Otherwise you're not getting in the good stuff. Dad and I just stopped here. We were game planning on what we need to check here moving forward as we continue on the day. And this guy made it pretty easy. You know, these ones aren't easy to find, but this, this laid out real nicely with the sun at my back to be able to see that one from a mile away. So that's a cute little crab claw. It's like a little pincher. So might be the smallest one from this year so far. That's pretty cool. It doesn't even have a brow tine. It's just straight up two points. That is seriously a, that's like a crab leg. 
I was walking down out of these cedars. I was working my way, my way to get down to the bottom so I could come back with the sun on my back. And I was walking. And out of the corner of my eye, I was like, oh, shoot. I just missed that. Well, I got lucky. But walking into the sun, I, you know, just makes me sick, you know, wondering how many other ones I've missed that are like that. I mean, it's so easy if, you know, if, if I'm coming at it from this way. It's like, oh, oh, yeah, there it is. But, so either way, I'm pretty exa ecstatic. That is number 12 or 13. I can't remember at this point because it's been a long day. It's been a while since we found the last one. But I'm pleased with that antler. Nice five point. And let's see if we can find his other side. Well, here's a stand that we were hunting earlier this year. Looks like the uh, tree went for a wild ride, especially the top side. Don't think we'll be hunting that one again. All right, the lay of this stick is nothing but a cold son of a. I we've been walking all day, haven't been one in a while. Come around the corner, and that right there to me looks like a shed. But nope, it's just a damn stick. But the way it lays, looks like a shed. Can't really complain. Have had a good day though. Just. I feel like we've been walking a lot here and we're due for how good this farm is, but we'll see. We'll see we got about an hour and a half of daylight left. We're working through one of the best spots yet. Well, we were actually just done walking through that last bedding area and I came up on this old one right here, which is really shocking because the thing is, is I mean, I know what deer that's off of, but that's really shocking because we've looked at a lot. I mean, that's not a spot that we've missed in the past. I wonder if that was dropped really late last year or there's something more to that. Well, I just got back to the shop. I didn't even realize this. My mom said that she found a shed, didn't even let me know and brought it back to the shop today. So I, you know, was looking it over and I do recognize this deer. It's one that we actually found a shed off of earlier today, so now we matched him up. There we go. So that was another shed that was found today. I should have totally counted that. But anyways, it was a great week once again. A lot of great finds. Stud here. Young stud here. I have, don't need to explain it all. It was, some, it was a great week. But, you know, just as I was driving back from shed hunting today, Sell two bucks holding uh, both their antlers. So it is still, still early yet. That's the crazy part. But we're having some good luck, and that's all I can really ask for at this point. So I hope you enjoyed week four. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and then hit the bell so you'll be notified when we drop more videos. Also, look out for the giveaway shed. First one to comment the time that's in there. I'll pin the comment at the top. You'll win the shed or a hat. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.